Aloha, Claire here with the Alexander Technique, continuing with my project of tracing the nerves that bring sensation to our skin. So we're kind of mapping the central nervous system uh, as it, as it uh, innervates our, the surface of our bodies. And one of the results of that is that you begin to get a really three-dimensional sensory experience of yourself. And the skin is so sensitive, so nerve-rich, that you can often absorb more information, really, than um, through trying to figure out bones and muscles and stuff like that. So we have made our way down to the sixth cervical nerve. And I'm going to show you a picture here of where this nerve emerges. It's right underneath the bright yellow one. It's the purple one. And it spans from your spine across the top of your arm and the top of that little rotating arm bone to your thumb. And here's the front of it. So, so far, uh, it's the one with the greatest span. It covers the greatest distance that we've, that we've looked at so far. Um, and so what I want to ask you to do is actually really trace it with me uh, so that you can experience it via your own skin. So you can see where my um, shirt kind of goes up to my neck, that's where the fifth cervical vertebra is. So it's a little bit lower down and it just goes right across the kind of back and top um, of, your, of your shoulders. And then I have to just kind of go to one side. Then across the top, if you just kind of trace the the back top of your upper arm and down this beautiful little incredible folding and rotating joint here and then across that to the lower arm crosses the wrist and and it brings sensation to the whole top of the thumb and this little webby part here and crosses the wrist on the inside and brings sensation to this pad, this thumb pad, which is an incredible part of you because that's really where you grasp. And often when our hands are very tense, we, this pad never gets to release. It never gets to relax and really touch something because we do grasp with our fingers so much so it's very interesting just to take a hold of your own arm, for instance, and really feel that webbing of your um, thumb and your thumb pad really touching your own skin. And you know when you've got that grasp and nothing can break it. It's very, very powerful. So here is uh, a little, just a little movement experiment, whoops, sorry, that you can do to um, wake up this nerve pathway. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in the space a little bit. And you're just gonna lie down on your back. Good, hope you can see me. <sighs> so you, you don't have to have your legs bent, I'm just doing that to support my back. And you can feel the support of the floor underneath your entire surface of your skin, which is so sensitive. So you might have a little bit of tension in your shoulder girdle. And if you do, you can just start from here. Or you can start from here. And you're just going to softly fold your thumb into your own palm. And you'll see that a natural result of that is that your arm starts to rotate. So you're just folding and softly folding all your fingers around your thumb. And you can just see what that rotation is like and whether 
you can let your shoulder blades kind of slide away from your spine just in that movement so you don't have to tense your shoulder blades any more than they already are. And then you're going to just keep folding and folding and tucking until you're kind of embracing your own neck. And sometimes it's nice to just close your eyes. So when you fold like this, what tends to happen if uh, you've got the support you need is that the shoulder blades actually slide away from one another in the back and it opens up a space for breathing. And then you can unfold and just kind of play with reaching here and folding and just noticing if there's any tight places. I have a nerve injury in my shoulder so sometimes it's a little testy there and slowly opening and the slower you move in some ways the more you can continue to let your shoulder blades slide away as you open okay so that's your sixth cervical nerve and the thumb there's so many more movements you can make so don't stop there, just enjoy yourself, roll around on the floor, and next week we'll do the next two fingers, peace, the peace fingers. Peace out.